You wanna know how cash flow real estate made me snap, lose my mind, and completely change the direction of my investing business? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through that. So what's good, it's Michael Alder here from takingactiontoday.com, and typically, I'm bringing you all the tips, tricks, and strategies to become more successful in the land investing game. But, in this video, I wanna go ahead and walk you through why I transitioned into land investing. Now, I'm 40 years old. I've been in the real estate game for a bajillion years. In my younger days, I could put up with anything, but the older you get, your temper kind of excels and you have less patience for nonsense. Let me take you on back about four years ago. We were big into cash flow real estate. You see all the ads everywhere, buy rental properties, duplexes, singles, fourplexes, and you get these assets that you buy for $20,000. You rent them out for $800. You make massive margins and everything's great. You get financial freedom. You've already heard the pitch. You know where I'm coming from. We were involved with this model. We made good money once upon a time, but the landscape had changed on us. Here's what happened. Investors from California were buying up everything in Cleveland. So we changed the model to, we're gonna go ahead and acquire the assets. We're gonna renovate the asset. We're gonna find the tenants for them. We're gonna manage these properties. And we're gonna go ahead and sell them to these West Coast investors, giving them a great return on their money that they can't get in their marketplace. Best of intentions across the board. Here's what actually happens in all reality. You're working in D plus C minus Titan neighborhoods. The tenants in these neighborhoods do not pay the rent, and in many cases, they come with a lot of baggage in the game of life. There's just, there's always some form of drama holding them back, and it's, it's hard to get your money collected is the minimum of problems on this here. So we were expanding at an alarming rate. We could not get employees to show up for the life of us. Money was always there. They would always get paid, but you get the degenerates of the workforce to show up, and then they don't show up for a week at a time. You know this story here, how it goes. So once upon a time, I was in a mastermind hosted by Nick Loper. And Nick Loper had told me, hey, I just interviewed a guy that says he had the best passive income model out there. Pretty sure you know who I'm talking about. And I said, wow, that sounds like a bunch of nonsense. I'm not even gonna listen to the episode. Let's fast forward two months from there. So two months from that point, we're expanding our business. Things are getting bigger. We're buying up duplexes like crazy. We're leveraging hard money. We're going bigger and harder on every aspect of it. More buyers are coming in. We have a problem though. We cannot get these things renovated because nobody's showing up to renovate the properties. We're having situations with contractors stealing, breaking things, not coming back to fix them. All around nightmare. What's the conclusion? I have a background in the trades. I'm on the job sites doing $10 an hour type jobs consistently just to keep pressing forward. I have no problem getting dirty, by the way. But when my time is consistent with just doing these $10 an hour type jobs, painting walls, picking up trash, cutting the grass, that's not good. Horrible use of your time. So how did we move forward from this? I was in a duplex. I'm on the third floor of it. First floor is one apartment. Second and third floor was another apartment. I'm going to be on the third floor. Trash everywhere. I'm bagging it up. I'm like, there is nothing passive about this, and I have had enough. And I was like, what was that stuff Nick was talking about? Dude had the best passive income model ever. So I went over to his podcast there, pulled up the episode, listened to it, blew my mind. He was all talking about buying raw land, acquiring properties, turn around and seller financing it. And if they go full term with the deal there, boom, you transfer it over. If they default, you take the property and you resell it. And I was like, okay, that's passive income. I'm digging this now. So I'm starting to go ahead. My wheels are turning. It was Mark Podolsky, by the way. I'm sure you already knew that. But I reached out to Mark immediately after listening to that episode. I had a podcast at the time. So I reached out to Mark and said, hey, I would love to have you on my episode. Selfish reasons, of course. I wanted to ask him everything I didn't know about the land investing game for my show to help me and then obviously the audience too. So Mark comes on the show. We're chopping it up. I'm like, this is dope. I get this. I owned property in Florida at the time. The reason I owned property in Florida is because back in 08, 09, properties were selling, well, prior to that, they were selling for $50,000 a lot. Market crashes. I see on the MLS, these things are going for $2,000 a pop. I'm like, well, if it was selling for 50, and now you could buy them for $2,000, it's gotta be worth 10 at some point here. Like, that's a safe number. So I'm like, I'll buy a couple lots down there, everything's good. I just parked them for appreciation. I never thought about taking on the seller finance model. I go ahead and interview Mark and ask him all my questions. He's like, well, you own property, right? I said, yeah. He said, go ahead and just try it with the property you have. And at that time, I took the property. I think I listed it on eBay for 75 down, 75 a month. 
boom, it sold like fast. And I was like, okay, there's something to this. And then from there, I transitioned into the land investing model. And I go through my whole spiel about how I connected with wholesalers that owned a bunch of properties in New Mexico, started selling their deals one at a time, just basically playing middleman. I would find a buyer, I had the properties on standby. I would pre-sell the buyer at $50 down, $50 a month. He would say, okay. I would go to the seller and say, all right, I'm buying this one. I give my credit card, cashed out. Boom, arbitrage the deal to the buyer and the buyer now made payments to me. When I got paid off, I would transfer the deed. It was a slick model and from there we just scaled it out. But when newbies are looking at the real estate game, many of them want to go from zero to 50K a month which is dope. You should be motivated to pull numbers like that. But nobody steps back to say, what if I just went from zero to $50 a month just to get the win? Then the next month, 250 a month, then 500, then 1,000, then 1,500, then 2,500, then 5K, then 10K. The expansion play here. That's what you need to look at when you're doing this. That's what's gonna get you the best results in my opinion. Now, other gurus out there and people teaching different forms of real estate are gonna say, no way, you need to go from zero to this. And I think the biggest hurdle is, it's difficult to get your head around going from zero to 10K right away. It does happen, a lot of people pull it off, but many don't and they become discouraged and they say this is nonsense and it doesn't work. What if you just went from boom to boom, zero to $50? Good, proof of concept, we're good here. Boom, zero to 150, 150 to 250, 250 to 500 and you take these baby steps and you keep compounding everything, that's how you're gonna get the results you're after. Now, if you're completely new to the land investing game or just investing in general, do not go into the cash flow model. I assure you that's gonna be a tough hill to climb when you're completely new. Some people pull it off and I'm not discouraging anybody, but to get the results, to get your mindset right, to get things moving forward, I would suggest if you really want residential real estate, just try wholesaling a deal. You're not involved really, you're just gonna go ahead and sell that contract and that's it. Now, even better, either open up an account on something like Webull or GoDaddy, or not GoDaddy, what's that other one? Robinhood, Webull or Robinhood. Start trading some stocks in there just so you know what it feels like to take a baby loss and what a baby win-win feels like. Or buy one parcel of land, try and sell it on seller financing terms, learn the process and then scale from there. You will for sure get better results, getting your head right around those little tiny baby wins, and then just boom, 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 scaling it out from there to go as big as you possibly want. That's my recommendation in this video here. So residential real estate, I get pitched on a regular basis, day in and day out. I'm not even making this up. People reach out constantly. I have this, I have that. You wanna get in on this? Can you bring money in for that? I don't want any part of it. I don't care. I have zero interest in residential real estate, cash flow real estate, commercial real estate. I don't care how much money's in it. I don't want anything to do with it. Land is the most stress-free business model I've been in, in for the real estate play. So for that, I will never stray, oh, I shouldn't say never. Currently in my life, I'm not gonna stray from that because it's so stress-free, it's minimal risk, it's so passive. So that's why I'm structured my whole real estate play in the land model. Now, once again, if you wanna get into other plays, go for it, dive right into that. But take baby steps as you work your way up and you will see success in it and you can grow your business, you'll get the results you want and you'll have the lifestyle you're after. Now this is kind of all over the place, just a little storytelling on why I transitioned in the land investing game, but if you wanna learn more about how we buy and sell raw land in our business each week, month and year, consider investing in the Land Flipping Formula video series. It's only $25, you could get that at myflippingformula.com, link directly below the video. Plus, as a bonus, when you invest in the Land Flipping Formula video series at myflippingformula.com, I'm gonna send you out a physical copy of Russell Brunson's book, .com Secrets, to go ahead and help you with your online marketing and branding your business as well. All that can be found directly below this video or at myflippingformula.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment below with any questions. I'll see you in the next video.